Hello and welcome to this new series on American Falls map, the rather controversial map from Nancy Boy. Well, we've just popped into a service station just to get some directions to a new farm that we have. We've got quite a bit of money which we've spent mainly on equipment which should be waiting for us as we get to the to the farm we spent a huge amount of money on that we are left with about hundred and eighty thousand dollars from our from our payoff from our big city job but as we go past the farm on the left hand side we can see all our equipment that was delivered during the course of the morning and has been parked up on the side of the road. I have to just pop into my house which is just a little bit up the road and all the keys have been put through the through the mailbox so I'll just go and pick those all up and then we'll move all these beautiful beautiful new machines onto our farm. As I say, I'm a, a city boy trying to turn farmer. I heard about the trials and tribulations of American Falls and the problems they had or have been having with uh, the well, a contractor, I suppose you would call it, but somebody was looking after all their farms. And so I got hold of the the powers that be I told them that I would in, be injecting a sizable we're talking millions of dollars into the area and we would take over all these jobs so we've got ourselves a small well a small farm we've got ourselves a farm um, where we can do some dairy farming and we bought a small field just next to it which is tied up to the house and we spent pretty much all our money on buying really good big equipment so I'm just going to move it all into the new solar powered open sheds that I've built on the farm to get us a little bit eco-friendly not sure that our vehicles are eco-friendly but <laughs> so the first part of this video is just going to be showing you the vehicles that we've got so we've got the lovely Mac with a huge trailer holds about a hundred thousand liter, uh, liters of of product um, we are using only John Deere tractors on this on this farm That's limited only to tractors, so implements and and such like. Although we do have the John Deere plow as well, um, but I think I, I think I got a case um, harvester. But yeah, any any tractors that need to be bought, we have a deal with John Deere. I did a deal with John Deere too buy a, well it was a it was a bulk deal the only thing that I didn't like was that there were two tracked tractors um, I do prefer wheel tractors personally but I suppose we can change that over time but we have got some really big machinery which has uh, pre presented a bit of a problem also the guys that were bringing up the machinery told me is that they had to close off roads because of the size of the machinery so we'll have to most probably put in some road closures when we're moving around the farm or around the map so we're going to have to look after our own farm grow our own farm but we're still going to have to do contracts um, for which will be paid because we're using our equipment and we will have to do 
contract on a re reasonable basis just to um, build up confidence with the local population. So that's that one parked. This is the planter now. Got a nice big John Deere on there with the horse planter. Yeah, so these double sheds here are where we're going to plant, uh, plant. <laughs> where we're going to park most of our um, husbandry, uh, our field husbandry equipment. Um, the grass equipment I'm going to put on the other side of the farm. Just drive through the centre of the farm here and we'll, we'll offload the tedder into the to this barn on the right hand side. And then we'll park up the windrow in the bottom in the bottom shed. But the windrow is really big, the tedder is not as big. And I might swap have to swap that out for something bigger, just depending on what sort of grass fields we're going to do, although I think we're going to be um, concentrating on um, alfalfa and clover silage, clover for feeding the cattle once we get them. We've got a lovely kettle, kettle shed, kettle operation if you want to call that, that uh, on this farm. So we're going to have to make, make use of that. Just get the windrow parked up as well. Stay tuned to the end of this uh, of this video. The we're going to do a afternoon, early evening harvest, and it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I think it's probably one of the most stunning harvests that I've ever done. On. FS22 definitely, but even all the FS farming simulator farms that are done, it's just absolutely beautiful. I love it. I've shown it in its entirety. I'm not even going to commentate over it, I'm just going to run it so that you can enjoy watching it. Right, so we'll just park up the tractor in here we should get this tractor and I think the next tractor is also going to be mainly used for grass work yeah so we've got a really big baler which I bought with the windrow on the front only problem is I didn't really think it through none of the sheds are big enough to park it in so that's something we're going to have to look at I'd like to have it at least under cover fairly soon. So we'll get this tractor parked up here as well. And then uh, we'll get the ne next piece of equipment. So this um, this farm came with a, a field that's growing sugarcane. And of course all this equipment that I bought, nothing to do sugarcane. <laughs> so we're probably going to have to lease sugarcane or at least uh, implements to, to bring the sugar cane in. I'm loath to just destroy the crop. I had to destroy some of it to build the um, the double shed. So this is our crop sprayer which is John Deere as well. So the, um, the spraying mechanism is interchangeable so if we do need anything for planning to do herbicide in that if we do need anything for fertilizer liquid fertilizer we can do that as well it's right, so over there just parked up the the um, case harvester and we've got the little desert colossus root vegetable harvester we've got the beet header on it but we also have a 
something which hasn't been delivered yet, I think it's still, it's probably at the store, it's still been made. But you know, we have bought a potato header as well. So that should help us with any root crops. We're not going to shy away from the root crops. The only problem is I thought I'd ordered a just a plain matte yellow coloured vehicle and we've got this golden yellow vehicle looks a little bit too snazzy and smart for us farm <laughs> but it looks good. <laughs> we might have to change it. I don't know. We'll see. Right, so we're going to it's all the vehicles in and I think you've got a small gist of the layout of the farm while we were doing that and I'm just going to drive to the to the back of this farm where we've got a oat field that needs to be harvested and as I said this just turned out to be a fantastic harvest this is a really really beautiful map it may have created a lot of controversy but I think we can safely say that a shed load of work has gone into this. It is so scenic, the depth of field is fantastic and that's pretty much going to be shown off. Here's a couple of little bitches that are so minor that they are not even worth worrying about compared to the beauty of the map and so far it's playing so nicely but just 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 have a look at the scenery, just have a look around it, it's got this wonderful feel to it. It's absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. As I said, one or two small little glitches, mainly for with the buying the buying of uh, big equipment at the store and space. But hey, I mean I'm playing this one on Xbox. Um, so you can't really get it, the implements delivered but if you're on PC just get it delivered to your farm it's no problem it's not worth it's not worth stressing about compared to the enjoyment that you get right so I'm gonna get this going the colors I think um, Nancy boys use oxygen David's lighting absolutely fantastic going into the afternoon now, so sort of five o'clock-ish. It's basically a golden harvest. Everything is this rich, rich golden colour. Absolutely fantastic. Can't say it enough. Really can't say it enough. Sit back and just enjoy this, this harvest.
Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Just absolutely beautiful. I really, really enjoyed that. I didn't even slow it down, I just left it at... Or oh, slow it down, I didn't speed it up. It's a relatively small field, so I thought it best. In any case, that's where we're going to end this video, this first episode. We're getting more into the nitty-gritty in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and cheerio.